for firms move into the residential real estate industry, they first want to look at change or trends that may happen in the future that could affect uh, their, their uh, potential future in that industry. First, some positive key industry developments that they would want to look towards uh, as beneficial for entering the market. You could use the PEST model to do this. Uh, first, political investments in communities. Uh, for example, Fargo-Moorhead area invests a lot of monies on making the community nice, uh, which makes people want to move towards our area or in our area and purchase homes because there is such nice amenities around Fargo or Moorhead. Government loan options. This, these are options like first-time home buyer, VA home loans. These make homes uh, more affordable for individuals looking to purchase. Uh, so if you can't maybe afford a home, the government can help you out and this might be a way that to get more people to purchase homes in the future. Economy. Buyer's market is on the rise. It's transitioning from a seller's market now to a buyer's market, which allows buyers to ne negotiate better and get better pricing on homes and be able to purchase more or purchase better homes for themselves. And then home prices are trending upward. It's an appreciating asset, so individuals now are going to want to invest in homes because that in the future will bring money back to them uh, instead of paying things like rent uh, to an apartment fee where you're not really putting it towards something or an asset. Social positive developments in the industry are millennials are buying homes sooner. Uh, at an earlier age, people want to buy homes because like previously stated, they're appreciating asset. They know that and they don't want to put their money towards rent where they're not going to get any benefit from that. So they're going to try to purchase a home as soon as they can. And then there's pride in home ownership. This is seen on TV, for example. There's uh, many shows with flipping houses or upgrades on homes and this just goes for the trend that people take pride in their home ownership. They want to make it look as nice as possible. So homes that are older in the downtown area are getting revamped by a lot of people because they see potential in them and know that they can be something great. So those homes will be purchased more often than the past. Technological, virtual reality and staging allows families or individuals looking to purchase a home be able to envision themselves more in this home because they can stage it to how they want or they can look and see virtually how they can change the home to fit them best. Again, these older homes that may not look um, appealing can now look appealing to individuals through virtual reality and they know what it can become. And then electronic notary services. These are important because before or in the past, people had to go through all this confusing paperwork, keep it all together. Um, it's just more stress and now they can see everything online, easily accessible, sign everything off and, and know what's going on better. So some negative key industry developments while moving forward, um, some changes or trends that are going to happen that could affect the, re the real estate industry. Uh, first political, there's political unrest or uncertainty in the future. Many individuals don't maybe agree with political aspects in their community or in the country, making them want to move out of the area or country, sell their homes, and then similar people won't want to buy those homes because they probably have the same views on the future um, and uncertainty in, in politics. So that's going to make it so we have less home buyers. Economy, wealthy individuals are utilizing risk aversion, meaning the wealthiest 1% aren't purchasing those, purchasing those luxury homes as much, bringing down that market, um, and then interest rates are rising. This will make it so individuals aren't able to purchase as much as they could if there were lower interest rates. They're going to have to lower their standards on what they can afford, and potentially everyone will be targeting the same low-income housing market, and there'll be less houses for sale. Uh, international trade wars, again, things like farmers experiencing this in, in Fargo or North Dakota, they uh, are seeing that their crops aren't selling as well because maybe we have a trade war with China and they're going to have to sell their homes, but no one's going to want to buy it because there's trade wars and they know crops aren't selling at the time. So th that house is going to sit on the market also. Social, there's uh, people are splurging on small luxuries a lot more. They're not going to have as much disposable income, not be able to purchase homes as soon. And then late retirement, individuals are retiring later in life, 
making them want to stay in the area, stay in the same home. Their house isn't going to go up for sale nearly as often, and that's just another house that's not going to turn over to new individual families as often. And then lastly, technological negative aspect is as there's easily accessible property information uh, with homes with in the 50s, 20s, older homes, they're going to have some information on there where maybe they received water in the home that could scare away individuals looking to purchase that home now because they can see that information so that house is going to sit on the market also.